Hello everyone and welcome to my review of one of the most anticipated films of 2015 in my humble opinion. This is my review of The Walk which I just saw in IMAX 3D. Not true IMAX but uh, it was in 3D. More of a diet IMAX or IMAX light. Anyways, I've been so excited to see this movie for over a year now. I'm a big fan of Robert Zemeckis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and I love this story. This is an incredible story about a man, a French man named Philippe, Philippe Petit. Philippe Petit. In 2008, there was a documentary that went on to win the Oscar that year called Man on Wire, and... Even though I knew what I was getting into watching that film, it was quite an amazing story, the way it was told, the way that it was directed, and the whole story, the whole, the whole experience uh, that these men and women went through to perform this amazing miracle, or to help Philippe perform this amazing miracle. And so going into this film, The Walk, of course I knew what was going to happen, or I knew the outcome was going to happen, but I was really interested to see how Robert Zemeckis was going to present this story. And what I'll say right now is that really the only way to experience this movie, even if it's not in the true IMAX format, is in the IMAX 3D format. You need to see this film the way it is meant to be seen. It is some of the best 3D I have seen in a while. This is why 3D was invented, especially how it's used nowadays. Sometimes it's just overdone. Almost every film is crying to be in 3D just for money. But I would say skip most of those films and go see The Walk in 3D because it was an incredible. Every scene utilized the 3D so well and when you get to the end of the story and when it involves what happens to Philippe and what he does and his whole dream of putting a wire between the Twin Towers in 1974 New York City and crossing over is just a marvel to watch. The special effects, it just looks so real and so vibrant. You, you Watching this movie, I literally believed that they brought back the Twin Towers, they built them, they shot on them, they used them. That's how good this film looks. It's perfection with the way that it looks and the way that it's presented for the most part. I do have some issues with the narrative and the tone at times. It is presented in a unique way where Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who's playing the main character, is talking to us and narrating his journey, his story, his life to us as he's hanging out on the top of the Statue of Liberty. And I would say 80% of the time, that really works really well. There was a few moments where, I don't know if it just felt a little cheesy, but this Philippe guy, I'm not saying he's cheesy, he's just really strange and, and, and unique himself. I mean, so maybe they, they, they did some of that because of his outrageous, weird personality and his, his look at, at life and his whole dream and focus of what he wanted to do in life. And again, I saw the film Man on Wire. I have seen this film now and it didn't bother me that I knew what was gonna happen in this movie. Just because I think Robert Zemeckis, who's a fabulous director, another reminder of why he is one of the best directors. Of course, he won an Oscar 21 years ago for Forrest Gump, made one of the best trilogies of all time with Back to the Future, and in my opinion, has made, has, has had such an amazing career where I can only say he disappointed me once. I don't feel like bringing up that disappointment because I love his filmography. Even the one film that I don't want to mention Whatever. I'm going to mention it. What Lies Beneath, 2000. Don't like that film at all. But the rest of his movies, he is just incredible when it comes to his direction, his understanding of uh, what the actor has to do and his relationship with the audience, with the story, with the material, with the characters. You really feel emotionally involved in this story. 
Uh, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I was really worried of how he would betray, 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 betray how he would perform with this French accent. Uh, the movie, uh, some of the time, is in French with subtitles. And I really believed, after a while, I really believed that Joseph Gordon-Levitt Joseph Gordon was this man. The way he talked, the way he performed. Now that I've seen this film, I'm very interested to see how this movie got made. You know, we, we've seen the documentary of how the real story happened. We've seen this, uh, this, this dramatic story with the walk. Now I want to see, hopefully, when the Blu-ray and DVD, whatever comes out, we'll get to see an in-depth documentary of the making of this film because a lot of amazing work went into the cinematography. The movie just looks incredible. I like some of the use of the colors, especially when it's telling this, this story. Uh, there's a nice sequence when we get to know him as a younger man, and it's kind of using some black and white and some colors to emphasize certain things, and that was really cool as well. I do want to highlight the amazing score again. Alan Silvestri, he has almost worked, almost, I don't, maybe not every film, but he has almost worked with Robert Zemecka, Zemeckis on every film that he has done almost. And this is another great score by him. Again, I think it's getting a wider release in the next couple weeks. But my advice to you is fork over the money, go see it in IMAX, go see it in 3D, because it just enhances the experience so much more. I really do love this film. I was emotionally connected. Again, if you can take a story that I really know almost everything about from what I've read and from the other films that I've seen, and you can still make it as interesting as possible and make it feel like, I mean, there was moments in the film where even though I knew the outcome, I was on the edge of my seat and was so involved, especially with the last half an hour of this movie. It's a great way to end this story. It's a great way to honor what Philippe did. And a great, this is a great film to honor the memory of the Twin Towers. And just such a beautiful film that I really adored. And I highly recommend you go see this, uh, whether you know the true story or not. If you don't know, then it's probably going to be even more exciting to watch this film. But for me, since I knew a lot of what was going into this film, it still was an amazing, magical experience. Not perfect. I mean, there are some things I don't really want to mention. It's kind of nitpicking. But they're there. I have to just be aware of them. But in the end, just an amazing story and presented in such a fascinating, beautiful way. And for that, I am going to give The Walk, which I again saw in IMAX 3D, I'm going to give the film a slight four stars out of four. In the comment box below, have you seen this film? Let's talk about it. Do you, Have you seen Man on Wire? Let's talk about that. And bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.